Hi everyone. Welcome to Java Techy. If you have ever worked with JPA or Hibernate, you have probably heard about n plus 1 problem. And in fact, this is one of the commonly asked interview question for Java developers. Well, don't worry. In this tutorial, we'll break down what exactly this n plus 1 problem is and how we can solve them effectively. Okay? All right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we jump into the solution, first let's understand what is n plus 1 problem. Okay. So imagine you have list of customer, customer 1, customer 2 and customer 3. Now each customer associate with different address. Let's say customer 1 associate with address 1 and 2, customer 2 associate with address 3, address 4 and C3 associate with address 5. Now if you observe this mapping, it is one customer map to many address, right? So you can consider this as a one to many mapping. Now let's say you need to get all the customers along with their address. If your application is not optimized, what it does, it will first execute a single query to get all the customer. Select star from customer. Okay. So it will execute the first query to get all the customers. Then what is the number of customer we have? 1, 2 and 3. Next for each customer it will fetch their address one by one. Since we have three customer it will execute three different query. Let's say query number two, select star from address where customer dot id equal to c1. Similarly, it will execute three different query. Two for customer one, customer two, customer three. So if you observed here, what is the number of query we execute to load all the customers along with their address? First query to fetch all the customer. Since we have total number of three customer, we execute three different query to fetch address based on the customer, customer one, customer two and customer three. So the total query count is four here. which can downgrade your application performance for sure. To load all the customer along with their address, we can trigger a single join or we can follow some different approach rather than hit our database four times. This is not the correct approach to implement and this is what called n plus one problem. Okay. So do you know why it is named as n plus one? It's very simple. We have the answer in the screen only. So if you observe the number of query it execute first query for loading the parent which is nothing your customer that is one then what is the number of customer you have one two one three total three query to get address for individual customer which is nothing your n so three plus one equal to four total number of query it execute four right that is the reason it is called n plus 1. 1 is nothing the initial query to load all the customers and what is the number of customers that is nothing your n. For each customer it will execute another query to load the address. That is the reason it is called n plus 1 problem. Now imagine you have 100 customer. Then what will be the query count? 1 query to load all the customers. Then since you have 100 customer to load address for individual customer, it will trigger another 100 query, which is nothing your 101. That is the reason this is called n plus 1 problem. And in real time, hitting database multiple times 
downgrade your performance as well okay now let's figure out how we can resolve this n plus 1 problem how we can load customer along with address with a single query rather than doing n number of query okay so let's go to our intellij idea so to save our time already created this particular project with customer and address entity if you observe the customer we have id name and address with one to many mapping and if you we'll go to the address we have id city state zip code and many to one from the address to customer so in this case i am doing one to many by directional okay same use case we have understand now let's see how we can getting the n plus 1 problem here then we'll go with the solution okay so if you'll go and check in the controller we have just define an endpoint to create the customer object along with address and fetch customer along with address okay this is what the simple logic we have i'll share the link in video description you can check this out now let me start the application meanwhile let me show you the database so if you observe we have customer table and address table and if i will run this i have three customer okay and if i will run the address customer 1 map to these two address customer 2 map to these two address customer 3 map to 5 6 7 these are the three address okay so if you see here i have three customer c1 c2 and c3 now if i want to fetch all the customers what will be the number of query it will execute if you understand what is n plus 1 problem you can answer it first query to fetch all the customer okay then what is the second query or what is the number of query it will execute what is the number of customer we have three it will execute three different query to fetch address by customer id this is what we understand theoretically right now let's see we'll run the application and we'll see what hibernate is generating for us why it is called n plus 1 problem the meaning of n plus 1 i was trying to convince here one is nothing your initial query n is nothing your number of parent entity okay so let's run our application i mean go to the swagger go to the api customers i want to load all the customers along with address okay try it out first let me clear this execute now if you'll go and check in the console can you see here what is the number of query it execute first one is nothing your first query which is nothing initial query to load all the customer select all the field from customer now what is the second query these are the address alias from address for customer id equal to c1 c2 and c3 so since we have three customer in our database it execute n as a 3 and one is nothing your parent execution to load all the customer so we can see here the n plus 1 problem right if i have 10 customer object in my database it will execute 11 query one for the parent query to load all the customer and 10 to fetch address based on the customer id this is what called n plus 1 problem now let's understand how can we tell to the jpa or hibernate hey when i want to load parent along with child don't execute individual query for child rather than execute a single query and give me the result how we can do that that is what we are trying to understand now now let's go to your repository we have two customer repo and address repo since we are trying to play with the customer who is our parent go to that customer repo now here if you observe the customer not customer customer controller get all the customer what it execute customer repository dot find all right so we'll just override this find all method in our repo and will tell to the jpa hey while loading the customer load its corresponding address just go to your repository 
Now how you can tell to the JPA or Hibernate, hey, while loading the customer, load the address along with that. So for that, there is a annotation, powerful annotation offered by Spring Data JPA that is called Entity Graph. In Entity Graph, you will tell to the JPA while loading the parent, load the address. Same you need to define here if you will go to the customer, same attribute you need to define here. So what it does, this tells to Spring Data JPA to fetch address with customer in a single join query rather than trigger four different query or rather than trigger n plus one query. Okay. So let's run it and we'll see the output. So you can see it started, clear everything. Go to the swagger and just execute get customers. You'll get customer and address. Okay. Now let's check the console output. Can you see here what is the number of query you are seeing now? Select C1 is nothing your customer alias, uh, A1 is nothing your address alias. It is loading everything by doing the left join to the address. Now what is the number of query it execute? 1. What is the number of time it hits to the database? 1. It doesn't matter how many customer object you have. You will just simply do the join with customer and address by customer ID and get the result in a single database call. This will definitely improve your performance, no doubt on it, isn't it? That's fine. Now, if you don't want to go with entity graph annotation and you want to provide your own implementation like this, you can also do that. So the first solution or recommended solution to use entity graph annotation if not, instead of entity graph apply the join for you, you can use the join fetch attribute. Okay. So how you can do that? Let me show you. Go to the customer repo. Now here you can define a method to fetch list of customer and you can define some name here. I'll name it fetch customers. You can define meaningful name, then just annotate at the rate query, use your own custom query using join fetch clause. Okay. So how you can do that? It's very simple. You can just, you just need to do the left join here. The way you saw the query generated by JPA, we just need to tweak that. That's it. Select C from customers, do the left join and use the join fetch okay with c dot this will also execute a single join query and will give you the result rather than doing the n plus one now let's change our service code call this method okay restart our application so what is the error could not resolve customers okay this should be customer Let's rerun the application. So it started. Let me clear everything. Go to the swagger and execute it again. We got customer with address in response. Now go here. What is the number of query it execute? One. There is no n plus one problem now. So this is how you can avoid the n plus one problem by using entity graph, fetch join, and batch processing. So while working on real time project, it's dead easy to overlook these kind of small loopholes, but it's crucial to identify and fix them to optimize your database and application performance. Okay. So just give it a try and let me know in case if you have any doubts. That's all about this particular video guys. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you soon with a new concept.